Hey guys, I'm just Jersh and welcome back to episode number 34 of the Binding of Isaac Repentance. Today, we're going to be taking a slight break from the delete this challenge. I'm not going to say it's bested me. It's kicking my butt though right now. Uh, we've done like five, five episodes worth of attempts, but probably like eight or nine attempts thus far. And uh, all have ended rather unceremoniously. So I think what we'll do today instead is, uh, well, basically anything else. We could do... Um, we could do alt path or alternative Eden or alternative keeper. Maybe we'll do that instead. You know, alternative Eden is actually how we unlocked um, the delete this challenge. So I think this would be a fun thing to do. We'll try alternative Eden hard mode ever changing is what it says. I also got to show you this. Okay. You ever like see like a giant, uh, I was going to say piece of chicken, but that doesn't really happen. You see, like, a huge piece of food, and you're like, I could never eat that. But then you see a bunch of small pieces of food, you're like, I could eat a thousand pieces of popcorn chicken. I did that with my coffee today. I made the typical four cups that I usually do, except I usually pour them into glasses one at a time. Um, <laughs> to drink them. And today I said, you know what? I'm going to put them into a giant cup. And the only cup I had large enough was this huge beer stein. So today I'm drinking, this is how much cold brew I put my body on a daily basis. Mmm. It just looks a lot scarier when it's not going into a tiny little 8 ounce mason jar. Alright. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we are Eden. We have Celtic Cross. We have a um, little blow up baby, which is actually good because look at that. Great stuff, which is good because look at that. I don't know why the fuse on that guy was so dang long, but he was. Okay. Look, I don't think punching bag is very good. I don't think holy water is very good. But you know what I can tell you? I'm happy to just be able to look at an item and know what it does. It is a feeling that has been uh, absent, let's say, for, for the last couple of... Maybe like the last week or so of Isaac. Um, it, it's nice to just... I'm definitely taking... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you've got to be kidding me. Oh no. Okay. So if you missed what just happened there, um, I think I understand how this character works. Alternative Path Eden, B-Side Eden, Tainted Eden... Every time, I mean, it's cool that we have the D4 up there, but it seems rather unnecessary because every time we take damage, the whole run gets rerolled. I don't think it's, it's not bad because rerolling, I think in general is pretty good. Like, like if you get the D4, you would almost expect to win the run every single time. Although I noticed our stats also got rerolled. I don't know if there's like a, excuse me. I don't know if there's like, oh great, yeah, just, just, I mean, my damage is getting sick. Um, just d 8 it and, uh, wait, do I have, no. Um, I used a pill, a bad tripped me, uh, and now we lost uh, our last run, which is fine because this one seems better. And also, it appears that there's some sort of D8 effect happening where our stats are also getting rerolled. So it's not just a... It's literally a rerolling of everything. I think that's how then... Maybe they changed the D100 so it now incorporates the D8. It was always a little weird before that it didn't. It was basically just the D... Uh, one, the D6, the D20, and the D4. Maybe that actually does all of the dice effects now? I have no idea. It certainly feels like that's what's happening, though. Um, okay, next floor. Uh, look, rerolling got nerfed a bit because you no longer keep some of the benefits uh, of the reroll. For example, uh, you used to, uh, you, when you rerolled, if you got like an HP upgrade. I don't know what Fortune Cookie does, by the way. This is a new item for me. Um, if I remember right, I think it's from uh, Anti Birth, and I think it's just like a two room charge. I don't want to lose this run, so just don't take damage. I think it's like a two-room charge um, crystal ball almost, but it, it does like what the fortune teller machines does. So it can like drop trinkets, 
I think it can drop um, uh, Spirit Hearts. So I think overall, pretty good item. Happy to have it. Uh, yeah, rerolling got nerfed ever so slightly in Repentance. Um, you no longer keep some of the benefits of rerolling. For example, if you get an HP upgrade and you reroll off that HP upgrade, you no longer keep the HP upgrade, which is sad. It's pretty darn sad. Um, sure, I'll pop that. We know bad trips out of the rotation now, so no pills can theoretically do damage to us except for like an explosive diarrhea situation. But should be fine, I think. No! Okay, it's actually fine. Okay, I lost a lot of damage. I lost a lot of damage. Here's the question. Does the run get rerolled every time I like hit this? Oh my god. I have 2.79 damage. Okay. My damage. Come back, please. I have Ipecac. Okay. So I I think I think I'll stick with Ipecac. Though I would say the chances of me hurting myself are extraordinarily high. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is a weird one. So what I was gonna say is like, um, I mean, A, you definitely can never get comfortable. You you can never get comfortable with any particular run. Yeah, uh, as, as evidenced by that right there, I would say don't get comfortable with any particular run because there is a good chance it's getting rerolled. I mean, all of these items are going to get rerolled too, so like may as well pick it up and try to get a cool deal with the devil item out of it. Um, your chances of getting rerolled are pretty high. You know what would be a sick item for this run, actually? Because here, here's the scary thing. The scary thing is like, what if you have an amazing run and you're coasting, like late floor, and then you reroll and get like, um... Why am I getting invincibility? Celtic Cross, new effect. I don't know. Um, why was I getting invincibility? I have no idea. It's when I kill enemies? I think we've got Celtic Cross. I don't think that's a... Oh, fluff me. Oh, anti-grav frick. <laughs> um, I don't think that's a new effect we've had. Um... We've had Celtic Cross on some runs before. I don't know. I don't know what that was, dude. Look, it, th this probably isn't a great... If I was wanting to get back to some semblance of normalcy... By the way, HP is getting a little low. If I was wanting to get back to some semblance of normalcy, this probably wasn't the way to do it with the Tainted Eden Challenge, which clearly is going to be just as wild as... Uh... It's not as wild as the um... challenge we were attempting, the Delete This Challenge... It's clearly, at least I can see what items I have and at least kind of understand what's going on. The delete this challenge, you just never have any idea what's happening at any given moment. Uh, there's some interesting, like, theory crafting stuff to go on here, though. So, so we get rerolled every time we get hit, which is happening quite often. Now, those can be tactical. You can, you can take tactical hits. And wh what I was going to say is I, th I think what might be a sick item, actually... What may be a sick item uh, is IV bag. Because what might happen, let's say late floor. Let's say it's late floor. You had an amazing run. You were coasting for a while and then you accidentally took some damage. Which I think is really what you're, you're, you're after here. You're looking for a run where it essentially, like a holy mantle type run where it's just like, I can never take damage again. Once you end up in a sick situation like that, then it's pretty much gravy. But if you if you get one of those runs and you accidentally take damage, and it's late floor and now you've got soy milk, something that might be amazing, something that could potentially be awesome, something that I think could potentially be awesome is IV bag. The, the ability to just reroll as you please. Just hit the space bar, you take damage, you start rerolling, and you get money out of it. Assuming you have red hearts. If you don't have red hearts, a little bit of a trickier proposition, I would suggest. Look, I had to open those. I had to open those. It could have been a guppy item or something, which we could start cycling through as well. I don't know if they changed 
how guppy items work in, uh, as far as rerolls are concerned. It used to be that as long as you hit all the guppy items on separate rerolls, like the the tracker that determines how many guppy items you've picked up persisted in the background. What is that trinket I have, by the way? Broken syringe? Is that new? It is at the very least new to my eyeballs, because I've never seen that before in my entire life. Man, this kind of stinks. We had a really good run early. The run has, um... Not stalled, but, uh, I mean, we had, like, eight damage on, like, our third reroll. Uh, did that just do a full heart of damage? Oh, no, I don't- Whoa, that scared me. I only had a half spirit heart. Now we've got the bleedy thing. We've got wooden spoon, coat hanger, pop a fly. Seems not good, but prayer card is fine. Help. Seems not good, but prayer card is kind of fine. Prayer card's actually amazing. Um, it's like countless HP upgrades for as long as we can keep it. I mean, if we can... Because the Eternal Heart doesn't get re-rolled. It's not like an HP upgrade, so that's sick. Um, so it could be like one of our most actually reliable sources of, of getting HP going forward. Uh, the problem is I have to like not get hit. <laughs> Which has been a little bit of an issue for me. The spacebar items are also an issue because... The fewer active items we get? No, the more active items we get, the less items I have to re-roll. You want re-rolls because you want some cool synergies. That's really what we're after here at the end of the day. The game is not really giving me a good opportunity at this point. I mean, yeah, it's going to get re-rolled, so like, I, I say buy everything. I, I don't see a reason not to buy a bunch of stuff. We're probably going to take at least one hit of damage here, just, just to be frank with you. I don't think I've ever beat this boss without taking damage. Yeah, so I put the, the likelihood of taking damage at pretty high. Thankfully, got a little kidney stone action that will go ahead and send him to the Shadow Realm. 0.3% chance of a deal with the devil. We're going to get an HP upgrade. Um, look, I was feeling good for a bit. I was feeling good about this run for um, about five minutes. Now I'm scared. By the way, we have no, no I, I like. I started this without even like thinking about what I want to do. I mean, I guess the standard answer is always just post it note, right? Just work on. Whoa, that's kind of wild and wacky seeing the uh, the stat screen move around like that. Um, yeah, isn't the general answer just like uh, do the chest? I think I think the chest is you peace. My range is sick. It's because I have two range upgrades. The rest of the run's not very good. I do have four damage, which seems okay. My tier rate is atrocious. <laughs> Angry fly got a new sprite. Okay, my tier rate is much better now, probably because of skinny odd mushroom. I, this still feels like base floor damage, which isn't good. The other issue here is like, I want to visit the curse rooms. But I don't want to lose the runs, you know? Visiting curse rooms means taking damage not once, but twice. It's a little scary not having control over my own destiny like that, so... But the curse room, on the other hand, has items that might be valuable. I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna go in. It could have items. It is the D... Four, which is just funny. We'll re-roll again, sure. This is a good run. Now, unfortunately, it's about to leave me. But I got Death's Touch, baby. Okay, so go ahead and just never take damage again, if you could. Like, I, I know it's like a, you know, it's a pretty heavy ask. <laughs> Certainly a pretty heavy ask. If you could just go ahead and never take damage again and keeps, keep Death's Touch. Now, the rest of the stuff we have is not very good. We got a speed upgrade. We have an HP upgrade. We've got Mega. We got two HP upgrades, actually. Yeah, the rest of the run eh, doesn't suck, but it's not very good. Um, we can do better. But I, I think Death's Touch is a pretty good uh, baseline, at least, to, to build a run off of. So I'm happy to have it. 
I'm happy to have Death's Touch at least to start. Now, 1.68 tiers? Concerning. Concerning to say the least. That is something that as an organization, I believe we can do better on. I believe that we as a company, culture, need to come together and do better on this particular issue. Maybe try to get some tears up in the office space. That'd be, that'd be amazing. Um, look, it's essentially going to come down to what boss we get here. If we get like a nice hollow fight, which would be sick, by the way. If we get a nice hollow fight... Since we have piercing shots, especially, I think we can uh, no hit the boss. I'm definitely not strong enough, though, to just like continually no hit stuff. Thank you for the peeper. Uh, it doesn't really help me right now, but it could in the future by re rolling into like chocolate milk. <laughs> but then I lose Death's Touch, of course, which is very sad. That's okay, though. We also have some sort of like red, um, red battery over there. I don't know what red battery does. But I've heard, I can't remember its name either. It's like four, son of a gun. It's like 300 volt or something like that. I can't remember exactly what it's uh, called, but I've heard it's pretty good. Okay, 2.06 damage. Or sorry, 2.06 uh, tiers, pretty bad. World card is fine. It's Peep. Peep's not too bad. Peep's not too bad. We actually, oh, dude, I love insectoid tiers. I actually love insectoid tears i think it's maybe even better than guppy like it, it, as an item itself i think it may just be better than guppy so okay i was just about to say the sentence if we could just keep this run forever that would be awesome Let's see how that went we have undefined which i don't even know if that still works like it used to um look i would like to take damage <laughs> I've decided that in this particular instance, I think I would like to take damage. Mm -hmm. I would also like to continue slurping down my massive amount of Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid? 3.2, 3.2, yeah, let's go ahead and... Uh, it's tough. Taking damage means losing the black heart and then putting our red hearts potentially at risk. Ooh, baby! What's that little wispy sperm we got, dude? What the heck was that? Uh, there's an item over there. That's the other issue. I don't know what half these items do. We haven't seen a lot of them yet. I have Tauros, apparently, as well. Um, I think I would... You know, just teleport me. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> this is a great run. Don't lose it. It's got money equals power. You can't lose it. It's got dead eye. It's it's got maw of the void. What's it called? It's got uh, eye of Belial. You can't lose this run. No! You sorry son of a gun. You sorry piece of garbage. Help! I'm re-rolling faster than I can see. Okay, so a lot just happened there. We still kept Frozy Baby. I guess it just recycles through the. It cycles through all the items, so uh, that's not shocking. I'd like to re-roll again, I think. I think I would like to re-roll again, but my, my spirit heart protection is very sick. It's Necropolis 1. Dude, that's a shame. We had Eye of Belial and Money Equals Power and Pentagram and many other great items. This run seems okay. We got Booger Tears. Here's the problem. So far, like every re-roll we've done, and I know they can't all be winners, we're gonna die, by the way. So far, every run that we've gotten has had, like... And I think part of the issue is I just don't have very many items to reroll. But so far, like, every run we've gotten has had, like, one or two solid items. But we just haven't got enough in Tainted to be like, this is broken. Um... Instead, we just get, like, one or two decent items. Like, for example, money equals power is back yet again. I think... I'll take that. I think money equals power is very good. Uh, unfortunately, that's it. <laughs> Toothpicks are okay. Um, Daddy Long Legs is pretty good. Triple Shot can be good. Yeah, that's that's unfortunately where the, the greatness ends. 
So we need a little bit more. It's not enough to carry a run in and of itself, especially I only have three cents. So money equals power really isn't doing much for me right now. These lacks of deal, the, the lack of deals with the devil are certainly hurting me as well. It's certainly not helping our cause out. Where's my character? My character has disappeared. Okay. Same run, that's fine. Running low on HP. Uh, wouldn't, uh, would not deny that. I don't like broken modem. I know it's technically a good item. Like, it, it helps you probably more than it hurts you. But I, I'll, I'll harp on this till the day I die, essentially. Predictability. Predictability and, predictability and Isaac is bay. Anything that introduces any levels of unpredictability in dodging patterns, bad time. This is also a bad time. That guy is... He doing okay? He doing okay. He doing okay. Uh, this is also a very bad time. We're down to 2 HP. I have Void Tears, which is okay, but this run in general seems kind of bad. Seems very bad. How do I have this few items? I mean, I know we've run into a lot of active items and have gotten only one deal with the devil, but like, I have no items and it's very concerning. The lack of Spirit Hearts over the course of this run has also been a concern for me. Don't get me wrong. Well, I would like to talk about Pokemon Snap, which I've been playing religiously for the past couple of days. I don't like Void Tears either. It's also unpredictability. I'd like to talk about Pokemon Snap, with new Pokemon Snap, I should say, which I've been playing religiously since it came out. I think the game is amazing. If you were there for the first stream, you know I had a pretty dang good time with it. Um, I've only been having an even better time since. I finally completed the main story of it, which was very good. I will say, and I haven't 100 percent of the game yet, so I don't. maybe this is still to come, but I will say that I think... Why is my HP disappearing? I will say that I think the ending of the first one was a little stronger with the Mew mission, like finding all of the secrets, the secret Pokemon statues or whatever you want to call them. Why are all of my consumables disappearing? And then going up to the moon somehow and, and, and taking pictures of Mew. That was a pretty dope ending. Um, now, I don't know if that's considered, like, it might be considered, like, the secret ending to that game, since you have to find all the secrets to it. I don't actually remember what the end of the base game was. Um, all that to say, maybe I'll find an even cooler ending. Why is my stuff disappearing? I'm, I'm, I'm very confused. Uh, all that to say, maybe I'll find an even cooler ending at the end of this game, but, um... At least as it stands right now, I do think I like the ending. Now, story in general, the story was way better in this one. Because it like the, the first one didn't really even like have a story. It was just like, I'm Professor Oak. Go here now. Good job. Now, now how about here? That's cool. What about here? It was just like a little wacky uh, series of misadventures, which is fine. I don't, uh, that's not a bad model. You know, that's the Mandalorian model. I mean, the Mandalorian also has a story, but to some degree, Mandalorian's like, hey, let's go on cool adventures on different planets. It's a good time. I think it's, uh... What, what's making my stuff disappear? You! I didn't even see you! And this runs so bad! Scoop my eyeball. This room sucks. Stars card me. Actually, a great reroll. Okay, we'll take Bucket the Lord. Um, what do I have here? What happened? Okay. I got nine lives. <laughs> I got nine lives. I got Eden's Blessing. I got, uh, huh. What's annoying is you don't, like, I got Blue Cap, but the game didn't give me... Oh, I got Fruitcake. That sucks. I got Blue Cap, but the game didn't give me... Oh, baby. But the game didn't give me an HP upgrade. I got nine lives, and it put me at one Spirit Heart instead. That's pretty bad for me. Uh, Spirit Heart, please? Blue Candle. I mean, Blue Candle is better than Metronome. I, it, that was, like, just dumb, actually, now that I think about it for more than three seconds. Just to... It, we're gonna not keep this run. 
because quite literally all it takes is a single um, blue candle Ipecac shot to blow up in my face and the run is gone. So like probably not smart. Probably not smart to do that. We're also going to lose nine lives in just a second. Now, the good news is we should get a... Um, we should get a deal with the devil on this floor. I re-rolled, but I kept all my spirit hearts. Got an AOAS rune. I was going to say going to steal an item from Boss Rush, but it's actually not possible. Spoonbender Libra got the jar. I mean, who cares? We're going to lose this. We're probably going to take another hit of damage here, so. I'm so weak. <laughs> oh, I'm basically at near base damage. Man, they really did nerf rerolls. Maybe we just don't have enough items to, like, really benefit from the rerolls, but. Wow, wow, we would, dude. I feel weak. I feel unbelievably weak for this point in the game. Give me a. Go, little friend. Go, little friend. We've got a cracked key. My buddy Justin's cracked at Fortnite. Okay, keep following punching bag. Thank you. Is this blue, mom? You're spawning a lot of enemies, dude. I feel like we're getting like the same four items over and over again. Oh my. Not soy milk! Not soy milk! I'm about to just run into the foot. <laughs> Not soy milk. I asked for a different item. <laughs> I did complain about getting the same three or four items over and over again. Okay. Oh my god, dude. Sure, give me empty vessel. I'm dead? Oh, I'm alive. Holy boosh. That was almost the dumbest thing I've ever done. <laughs> Balls of steel, thank you. Um, look, empty vessel's sick, but uh, this run with soy milk is not going to succeed. A house divided cannot stand, and neither can a boy with soy milk. What are your guys' opinions of the alternative milk sources? I put a little dairy-based creamer in here. I'm, I'm very... Um, I'm very pro milk, I would say, pro dairy in general. I've tried to switch to other forms of milk. I've tried almond milk before. Something about almonds, I don't know what it is. I've never been a big almond guy. The the taste is uh, the taste and texture to me are both like a uh, reminiscent of like I don't know tree bark. Something about it. A little too. I'm a fan of crunch. Don't get me wrong, but. I've been to many an almond that I thought was going to shatter my teeth. That I'm not a big fan of. And uh, I feel like you also got to worry about... Uh, isn't like cyanide like almond flavored? Something like bitter almonds they say. I think I read a book in like third grade that said that cyanide tasted like bitter almonds. And ever since I think my... I think my cerebral cortex... Fluff. Oh god. We got lusty blood which is sick. Alright, there it goes. Got soy milk back again, uh, in, ca in case you missed it. Um, I didn't, by the way. I, I, I did not miss soy milk, but we have soy milk 2020? This seems better than soy milk. Am I nuts? This seems better than soy milk. We had soy milk. Okay, there it goes, so probably not. Dude, diplopolia could be sick. Diplopolia. Diplopolia is sick. Okay. Double raw liver. At the very least, it's two more items. We're going to take damage here. But at the very least, it's two more items to reroll. When we reroll. Money equals power is back again. It really do be like the same four items over and over again. <laughs> Got the fallen, so we're going to get a deal with the devil item. That's actually amazing. Actually stupendous. Okay. Where'd my HP go? <gasps> what? Oh, 
okay, well, I went from about, I guess most of it was raw liver. Oh no. Yeah. We re-rolled into just a no HP up situation. Okay. Okay. That's great. That's a lot of fun for me. Um, we're one hit away from death. Uh, with, uh, a, with like near base damage. Tier rate's fine. Five damage. Um, yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna die here. I can't do this room. There's not a chance. Not a chance. Um, if that's the right way, and I don't find a spirit heart in the meantime, we will lose the run. Just making sure you're fully aware. Just don't want to get your hopes up or anything. If that's the correct way, the run is over. Um, Cause I, I, my brain cannot. Fudge. <laughs> We're gonna end up dying from freaking Okay. <laughs> no problem. No problem. We're going to die from this stupid ball bearing chain thing. What's it called? Samson's chain. Samson's chain is without a doubt going to kill me. I've seen this story before. I've seen this one before. Give me a spirit heart. Por favor. This is bad. That's pretty bad for me. Wait, what do you mean the wrong way? Oh, gosh. Didn't even see the top path. Didn't even see top path. Okay. Staying alive by the skin of our teeth. It's okay. It's fine. Literally didn't even see this door. Oh! <gasps> Samson! <sighs> Stupid Samson's chain. <laughs> Oh, please, a Tintin Rock! Oh, no, you could have saved me! Okay, can't go in there. Oh, this is too much stress. Too much stress too early in the morning. Please help, I have no damage. Please help, my damage is very sick. You don't understand. Can you give me raw liver again? More raw liver? You actual jerk. You freaking jerk. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Anakin style. Hey, happy May the 4th, by the way. May the 4th be with you. Give me a tinted rock! <laughs> One tinted rock, please! Ugh. <sighs> That's the problem, we can't take a hit or we die. Cannot take a hit or we just die. So I can't even like get, take a hit and hope to reroll into some HP. I just have to survive. Oh frick, yeah. <laughs> what? what? What saved me? Lazarus? Did I take a hit? Uh, three spear hearts, by the way. Did I take a hit and reroll in that moment into a run with Lazarus's rags? And then come back as Lazarus balls of steel. Ooh! Oh! 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 Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Now this run seems really bad. Wait! No! Okay, so I just realized. <laughs> we're just Lazarus now. We're, we're not Cursed Eden anymore. So actually just kill me. Just end the run. We've already beaten everything with Lazarus. There's no point in continuing. 
We came back as Lazarus, which means we're no longer Tainted Eden, which means we can't even unlock anything in the post-it note. Which is why we didn't reroll when we got hit there. Well, that's rather upsetting. For a second there, I thought we were saved, uh, but in fact, we were not. Um, look, I can't tell if that was just a highly cursed Tainted Eden run. Uh, if we just got really unlucky, we got a lot of active items and didn't get like any spirit hearts So I don't know if that was just a cursed Tainted Eden run um, Or if he's actually just gonna be that tough uh, I will be interested to see next time It seems like you're always just like one bad reroll away from death Like all it took was one reroll where we got no HP For the run to just be over Um I'll be tempted to see maybe next time. Uh, I don't know if I'm quite ready to get back on the, the delete this uh, horse just yet, but maybe someday. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider showing some support down below. Like and comment and subscribing. Help out a great deal. Share with your grandmother as always. But with that, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.